Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the cycling thermostat on your dryer. It's a really easy repair. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, the first thing we'll need to do is to disconnect power to the dryer. So either pull it far enough forward that you can unplug it, or locate your electrical panel, turn off the appropriate breaker, or remove the appropriate fuses. Once we've done that, we will pull it just slightly forward. We're going to need to raise the main top to access those components. So you either need somebody to hold it in place or have some type of a lanyard to support it. So our next step will be to raise the main top of this dryer so that we can access the component. We pull it away from the wall a bit. We're going to take a putty knife. We'll go in this gap between the front panel and the main top. You'll find a clip on top of that front panel. You just line the putty knife up with that. You press that clip. And then lift up on the top to clear it. Do the same for the opposite side. And once we've unclipped that from the front panel, we'll tilt that into a vertical position. Now the hinges are not strong enough to support that top, so unless you have somebody to hold it in place, just fashion up some type of a lanyard that we can attach one of the holes in the bottom of the main top. There's also a hole in the top of the cabinet on the side. Just remove the little rubber bumper. make sure that's firmly attached with a slight backward bend on that top so that it doesn't fall forward on you. So with the main top supported, our next step will be to disconnect either the door switch from the front panel or the wires from that door switch and move those out of the way. And then we'll remove the front panel so that we can access that thermostat. Now with the main top up out of the way, our next step will be to disconnect that door switch and wire harness. Now you can either pull the individual wires off of the switch or you can simply remove the switch from the front panel. Before we do that, we're going to remove two screws that secure that front panel to the cabinet. They're quarter inch hex edge screws, one on either side, about two inches down from the top. Simply remove both of those. To support that front panel as you remove the second screw, Next, we're going to remove this wire harness retaining clip. Simply slide it off the top of that front panel and lift it down and out of the way. Then just tilt that front panel slightly forward so that we can access the switch. And what we'll do here is just spread open that spring clip that holds the switch to the front panel using a flat blade screwdriver, both top and bottom. Pop that switch out and then we'll just hang that out of the way. Now we tilt the front panel down and remove it from the cabinet. So just tilt that front panel forward and then we'll lift it off of the two clips that are located on the bottom and they fit into two slots on the bottom of the front panel. So we're just going to set that aside. So locate the thermostat on the front of the blower housing. The easiest way to replace this is simply pull the wires off of the existing thermostat, attach them to the proper terminals on the new one, and if you find they're a little bit loose, just crimp them a little bit with a pair of needle nose pliers. If any of those terminals show signs of arcing, you'll need to replace the terminals or the wire. Next, we'll remove the retaining screws for the old thermostat. We'll discard the old thermostat, set the new one in place.
And now we're ready to put the front panel back on. Now when reinstalling that front panel, we first of all need to make sure that the slots in the bottom sit on top of those clips and fit firmly down over them. We'll also need to line up these holes in the back of the front panel with the locating pins on either side of the cabinet. So make sure that it seats down firmly. As you tilt that front panel into position, line up with locating pins on the side. We'll do one side at a time and reinstall the retaining screw from inside. Now before we put that right hand one in place, we'll reinstall that switch. Now this is easier done with the door opened up so that we can manipulate that bracket. So we'll take that switch, fit it through that clip, just spread that clip enough that the switch will slide down in between it. And then ensure that both the top and bottom of that clip can close that switch. We'll line up that harness retaining clip, slide that firmly onto the top of the front panel. You can close the door up. And then we'll line up the locating pin on this side and install the retaining screw. We're now ready to remove our lanyard. Place the little rubber bumper that we removed. Lower that front panel down into place. Make sure the sides are even. And then snap it down onto those clips. We're now ready to push the dryer back into position, reconnect the power, and your repair is complete.